All right, guys, what is going on? We're finally back with another video. Uh, it's February 2nd. We're gonna be going for a minimalist approach to ice fishing. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Going over to Field and Stream, pick up an ice auger, maybe a little something else. We'll see what they have there. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Oh yeah, one thing, forgot to kind of emphasize this. Um, I've literally never gone ice fishing before. This is my very first time. So this will be very interesting. We're gonna be bringing out the bare minimum here. We're gonna go take it out to a local pond, see if we can get on my first bash of the year. That'd be great, that'd be so amazing. I've just had this huge itch to go fishing. So we'll see how this goes, but hopefully we get on at least one fish and uh, yeah, I'll see you there. Just got out of uh, Field and Stream. We're here at the pond now. Let's take a look. So here it is. Um, looks pretty solid, but uh, kind of have to check it out. Got the auger. Got a couple other things. Um, but you know, before we get all that going, let's uh, go ahead check this out. See if we actually die, and uh, hopefully we get started. Usually this is like the weakest. Oh wow. Yeah, this is pretty solid. Oh yeah, this is solid. You can kind of tell. You know what, let's uh, get the auger out, see how much ice we're working with. It looks pretty deep. If I had to guess, it would be like four, maybe five inches. Um, but you ne never really know. And this is my first time ice fishing, so I really have no idea what we're doing. But uh, let's let this video serve as like, you know, a beginner's guide um, on how to ice fish, every like the essentials that you need. Um, and we're just gonna experience this together, see what we can uh, make happen, see if we can get on some bass and uh, hopefully have a good day. So I'm gonna get on the ice, get the auger out, and I'll see you then. All right, guys, before we actually get on the ice and freeze our butts off, uh, I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna hook my rod up with. So here's just like a Walmart generic fishing kit for ice fishing kit. Has a bunch of tin jigs, looks like clippers, and I don't know what that's supposed to be for, but we're gonna hook up one of these jigs. I also bought some uh, wax worms, I think. I think they're called wax worms. Um, they're like tiny little uh, grubs, basically. I'm gonna tip them and uh, see if we can get some fish using that. I also have a tip up that I'll set up later. Uh, put some wax worms on that as well. So, yep. All right, guys. Got my ice rod set up. Let's go ahead, try out this auger. See how many inches we're talking. So I got the eight inch blade. I don't really know. It's the same price as the six inch, so. Figured. All right, let's, let's go like right here. We're not too far out, but. Okay, well, that wasn't that bad. Let's see how deep it is first. Okay. That's actually a little more shallow than I thought, but I don't know. So I'm gonna go a little further out. I mean, like the ice looks really thick. It's like super thick, but it's not that thick. Like I don't even hear any cracks or anything. See, like, that's not that deep. No, that's pretty deep. No, that's safe. <laughs> yeah, look, it's actually pretty safe. All right, here we go, guys. By the way, this reel I'm using sucks. Just figured that out. There has, there's like no drag system on it. Like they're supposed to be, but it just doesn't work. And so, just how it be sometimes. And the line that it comes with, I mean, that's a given, but the line it comes with is just terrible. It's a cheap, probably like $10 rod, so combo, I should say. Let's just see if we can get something with just a regular jig, not even tipped. Might have to go a little further out. We're not that close to the shore. Ah, uh, we're kind of close to the shore. All right, guys, I'm gonna set this tip up 
while that jig is just chilling there with the wax worm. I'm gonna get another one going. And yeah, let's see. Okay, got our hole a couple feet out, probably like 20 feet out. We're gonna go set that up. All right, got a tip up over there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, I don't know if that tip up is gonna work, honestly. It's uh, not looking very good, but at least we got this hole that I can jig. Who knows? You never know. All right, I made a decision. In relation to that tip up, I'm actually to the left now, a little like right in the middle, in the thickest part of the pond. So hopefully it's the deepest part of the pond and we get on top of some fish. Well, you know, at least it's snowing out pretty out guys I actually have something I wasn't recording holy crap guys oh my god it's a bluegill it's a freaking bluegill look at him holy crap we got something guys let's go let's freaking go let's go we caught something oh my god guys look at this thing oh I'm so excited oh my god guys look at this slab look at this freaking slab he's not even a slab <laughs> he's like a really small gill but yo Look at the colors on him. He's purple. He's pretty. Let's go. First fish of the day. Let's get a nice release. There he goes. All right back down to the depths. Oh my God, guys. We actually caught something. Oh my God. It was worth it. This entire trip was worth it. Holy crap. Let's get back down there. We might be onto something. Guys, I was barely like digging it. I wasn't even doing much. I was just let it down just a tiny bit. Guys, we might be onto something. We might actually be onto something. Let's see if there's more down there. All I want today is a freaking bass. That's all I'm asking for. This time I'm gonna stay recording. I didn't think I would catch anything, so I just stopped recording, but uh, we might be onto something. I just have that little, probably like 16th ounce jig, tin jig, tipped with a mealworm. I checked the box, it was a mealworm. And that's all we're working with, really. Please let there be more. Oh my God, guys, I can't believe I caught a fish. That wasn't actually my first fish of the year. I caught my first fish. It was like a bluegill a couple of weeks ago. Um, I think I got a picture of it. I could put it up there if I have one, but uh, still have yet to catch my first bass. So that's what we're hoping for. That's the goal for today. You guys an update, it's been about 15 minutes since that last catch. I don't think I've had any bites. That last bite was so like faint and light that barely felt it but um just to give you guys like a little outlook on what's to come in this channel once the weather starts to you know warm up plan on going on a lot of uh kayak trips a lot more than i did last year it was really fun to do that but i want to try to do that a lot more um think about going to florida in march i'm still hammering out the logistics of it but um pretty sure mid-march i'm going to be going to florida hunting for uh, PB largemouth, so that should be fun. That's something to look out for. Springtime is always a great time to go fishing. Yeah, I'm just really excited for the warmer weather, especially March, April, oh, April. That's when uh, they do this trout stocking and definitely want to do that. There's a lot of trout stocking nearby, so go for some browns, um, brooks, maybe even rainbows. Um, and yeah, I mean, ice fishing, it's not something that I love doing, not yet at least, and um, but it's also not something that I'm just gonna quit after today. Um, I do plan on going up north uh, to some bigger lakes, going for some big rainbows, uh, big largemouth, um, but that's in the coming weeks, I don't know yet. But um, yeah, I think this year is gonna be really fun. Hopefully catch a new PB, um, catch some new species, that'd be great. And uh, yeah, just have fun. So hopefully you guys uh, would like to see those kinds of videos. Um, if you have any other suggestions, do let me know. I live in upstate New York, so if it's reasonable enough, just let me know down in the comments. And uh, if you like those ideas, show me some love down there. Give me a like or two. And uh, hopefully I get back with a new video in a couple weeks. Um, usually I, I post every week, but it's rough in the winter up here, so. Oh shit, tip up, tip up. Tip up, tip up, tip up, tip up, tip up. Oh shoot, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Yo, yo, no way. I highly doubt this, I highly doubt this. Is there something on? No, there wasn't. 
life. Damn. That would have been cool. Come on, I want to I wanna catch three more fish. I thought I just saw the tail move. Yeah, look. Oh my god. Took it for just moved. It's moving. Yo. Yo. What the What's going on over here? No way. Yeah. We got something. Oh, it's a bluegill. It's a freaking bluegill. Oh my god. The tip of work. <laughs> Holy crap, look how purple it is. Oh my gosh. I had I really had no faith that the tip up was actually wow. Guys, look at this freaking fish. Tip up was actually working. Hi right, guys. Um yeah, I didn't get a good release on him. But uh wow, number fish number two of the day. Same like weird looking bluegills, like purple. I've caught like what three fish now in the winter total my entire life, and I've never really known what they looked like, but do they really usually get that purple? I don't know, but uh Number two of the day, this is great. Um, finally getting on some fish. First tip up fish, first actual jigging winter fish right here. Uh, looks like we're getting a pretty good day. Um, I gotta re-tip that uh, jig up with a mealworm. So I'm gonna go do that and then get back over here where I'm jigging. Catch you then. Hi right, guys, that tip up's set up. Um, wow, I really didn't think that uh, I was gonna catch a fish on a tip up. I don't know why, but as I was talking, I could have swore I saw that thing uh, rotate a little bit, and sure enough, sprung right up, and we had a fish on. So I'm gonna warm my hands up really quick and then get back to jigging. And if you're a beginner like me, in reality, it's gonna cost you about, to get completely started, bare minimum, I'm talking auger, combo, and like jigs. It's gonna cost you probably upwards of $80. Cheapest auger I could find was 50. This combo was like 12 jig like that jig combo set whatever you want to call it was probably like ten dollars at the most so that's like 72 right there so i mean it's gonna cost you a lot of money but within a hundred dollars you can get yourself a decent setup get on some fish if that's what you're itching for like me it has been a very long winter the however much money 80 bucks i've spent total is so worth it just to get on a couple bluegill hopefully some more bass and um yeah so if you're watching this trying to figure out if it's worth it i would say you know if you have some decent water nearby, some decent ice fishing water nearby, I would definitely do it. If you're not interested in getting bluegill, I wouldn't do this because it's just so much money getting into. To me, I'm just really, <laughs> I've been really itching to fish. Um, this was kind of like the last resort. And you know what? I'm catching fish, so it's pretty worth it, I would say. But yeah, I didn't get a good release on that fish because I was trying to take a picture. By the way, go check out my uh, Instagram, Real Time NY. It's exactly like my uh, YouTube channel name. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on there. Uh, probably post a little more on there, actually, than actual YouTube. But go check it out. Probably post that picture I just took on there. Oh my god, guys! It just got so much more cold after holding that fish. It was like holding a freaking ice block. Gosh. You know, I figured this kind of content would be more relatable for us Northeasterners, Northerners. So, it's not a, wouldn't be a bad idea to try doing it. All right, y'all, it's getting cold. I feel like the hand warmers lied to me. They started to cool down. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a lot more cold. But, um, it's actually Super Bowl Sunday. So, <laughs> that's also on my plate for the day. So, let's try to get on one more fish. Hopefully, it's a bass. Um, before I get my line in the water though, I'm gonna warm up, so I'll get back to you when I'm back in the water. Okay, let's get back in the water. Let's see how deep it is over here. I'm sure it's pretty deep. Okay, it's not that deep, it's pretty much the same depth. Alright guys, I'm gonna give it another 20 minutes, probably. See if we can get on one more fish. Had a false flag, I think. I don't know. Never really know, but that wax room did look like it had a tiny bite out of it, so who knows? Oh, that feels like a bite right there. I don't know what it is. Got one. What the hell? What happened? He's running off with it.
I don't know what's going on. Do I have to hand light it in? I can't reel up. What is going on? I can't tell. I would like to reel up, please. Yeah, he took my waxworm. Yo, there was something there. He took my waxworm. Crap. This freaking drag sucks. I couldn't set the hook. I could feel it slightly nipping at it. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was big or small or what, but my reel went crazy. And I eventually lost it, so. Now the drag feels like it's fine, but we'll have to figure that out. That's where I'm... Oh, frick, the tip up. Jesus. Gosh, what is going on? Oh yeah, that's a fish. That's a fish. You can tell. Oh yeah. Seems big. He seems big. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a bluegill. Oh, he came off. Oh my gosh, right in the hole too. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it was a bluegill. Dang, what the heck is going on? It's like the bite just turned on. Oh, I'm gonna go get a, another uh, mealworm. Another bluegill. Came off right at the freaking hole. All right, guys. We're back in the car. I probably couldn't have stopped uh, ice fishing any later. My phone was literally at uh, 1%, but um, on the way home, unfortunately had to wrap it up. I did get a couple more bites at the end, but um, I don't know, I guess they were just smaller fish. And uh, check the tip up, <laughs> that mealworm, whatever it was called, it was completely gone, so something stole that. So we did get a couple good bites. I mean, we got on two fish, officially lost two, I guess you could say, and um, you know, for our first ice fishing trip ever, I think that was, uh, I would say it's pretty successful. We didn't get on our largemouth bass, but you know what? There's always a next time, and I'm definitely going out one more time, at least one more time. We'll see. Maybe we'll go to a little uh, bigger lake um, or a bigger pond, get on some big fish, and uh, yeah, maybe get on some more fish, actually. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments. Um, this is a new type of video that I've never done before, so please give me some feedback like or dislike it if you know it was that terrible um hopefully it wasn't but i'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoyed it once again um and yeah see you in the next one Peace.